it's a regular habit um, to not see someone for so long. Um, in the beginning, um, Inuit, um, uh, Inuit have always traveled. We traveled from Mongolia to, to Far Eastern Russia, to Alaska, to uh, Canada, to Greenland. So we traveled many, many long distances, many, many miles. And uh, it's very common for Inuit um, uh, because uh, of the transportation was not easily available at that time. Uh, so it was uh, very common uh, for somebody like my uncle and my uh, mother um, and my father too not see the not see their relatives for all that period of time from 1931 until 1968, because uh, they only traveled by dock team at that time, and from Back River uh, to Nauyat, it's a really really great distance. Uh, you meet um, lots of struggles, um, lots of hardships, like the the big hills, and sometimes maybe not knowing the route. Uh, so you kind of lay back until you're ready to go. So my uncle went to see uh, my mother, his sister. Uh, he has not seen since uh, 1931, and uh, they spent. He spent a year in Nauyat, 1968 and 1969, in which I finally got to meet my uncle, also in uh, November of 1969, when I went up to uh, visit my parents, while working for uh, CBC Radio in Churchill, Manitoba. So I got to meet my uncle. It, it sounded as though that he lived with with me for all my life because my mother used to talk about him all the time. Inukshuk was his name, Inukshuk, like the uh, likeness of a person, Inukshuk. Uh, 